I'm not even the chat is sure about the outcome here in the beginning. Let's bring it in. Basically a 50-50. A 54% on Starks right now. Armor break. Oh, catches the armor break. That's going to that be huge. so much damage. 55, 55 just like that. I think he's 55 dead. 55 gone. Um, if he doesn't drop it. Yeah, with the interactable, so smart. <laughs> Masiks, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Here oh, comes. No, not Starks. the robbery. No, 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 not not the four three three stagger and the robbery. Oh no! That was so good. We are backdashing out of those plus frames. Is it gonna be enough though? No, I don't think it should be enough to kill. But there's a lot of chip options here. Yeah, what's going on tonight? Is it because Masiks is here? We've already got a level three hype train. Oh my God! Did you see that D two hit the bug and convert back into the corner? What was that? These players are different. Good cross track to be just like you, Rips. As a result oh. of pulling out my hair because of this hype gameplay. That's so nice of me. He wants to be just like you. Round one. Fight. Back to the match. Cancel. Goes into Rising Star. Honeybee with so much pressure, but great whiff punish. Vendetta could be able to get so much damage out of this fatal blow unlock for both of them. Obviously giving Vendetta that cancel option into unbreakable 50%. But instead, whiff punishes. The bugs gets him, and Honeybee is able to take the second match. That is gaming, gaming right now, and will not get off of Noob's Cybot. Noob just wants to create some space. Big damage here though from Honeybee. Gonna keep it safe with that amplified slide as well. Oh, what is that no way! I have never seen that! Yeah, what the hell was that? As well, but we're gonna go with the forward throw here, just dash up forward throw. And he had the escape field loaded and chooses to use it round one. Smart thinking on Sunio. Go ahead and secure that round. That, that armor break was able to catch it. He did the fastest breakaway possible. It looked like he was about to hit the ground mm -hmm. and those wind kicks just caught. Scorpion Prox looking to secure that top eight yeah, spot. Yeah, Terminator. Oh, escape failed, loaded there for King Gambler. And he gets oh. caught by the teleport. Oh my god, what a read by Euphoring on the ice ball. Is able to get that crushing blow. And this is DLC crushing blow, ladies and gentlemen. It's going to kill. Gambler going to try to work his way out of this corner, oh. but gets kicked late. It's gonna be really close. King Gambler does have Fatal Blow, but that's no gonna be way. it. You fouring with the Running Man just bear hugs King Gambler. Takes us to O. And there goes Notice. the teleport from you fouring. And I love these pokes here to try to call out on some of what King Gambler is trying to do here. Goes for the shotgun blast and gets the restand with the overhead. But look at this life fleet that Euphoring has. No and, way. Oh my god. Gets no. The grab into the throw. It's just chip damage here. Whoa. And the trade. Euphoring takes a 3 0 over King Gambler. Introduce to you my co host tonight. It is going to be the one, the only fresh off of Combo Breaker commentary. Ms. Meeseeks, welcome to the Coliseum. Yo, thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. Uh, I mean, like, I'm so excited to be here for Coliseum. You know, been watching it for a while. I'm excited to get to be a part of the show for you guys. We have some crazy matches for you tonight. I mean, this top eight is stacked, I'm not gonna lie. And I couldn't be more happy to get to watch these, get to talk about them and watch what these players can do, especially now that we're closing in towards the end of your season. These points matter more than any other time, so they definitely want to lock in, especially if you want a chance to be one of those team captains. It would be it would be obviously an honor and insane. Scott Frost in the corner now. Now it's mixed time. Wake up and guess. Figure it out. Oh my god, the duck into the D2. Also, that's going to be so much damage, forcing the breakaway. And Joystick is just using a Chaka oh, stance no. and just Kent. Oh my god, the KB into the launcher. He it sent a message. Victory. He just did a flawless. <laughs> Here, Bandinos is just fighting for his life. Good tech there from Mighty Unjust. And the anti-air there from Mighty Unjust, from Noob Saibot to close out this first round. round two, we can see, though, Bandinos is slowly working his way towards the corner. Once Johnny gets you in the corner, he's able to play out his game plan. But, I mean, Mighty Unjust is going to do his best to make sure that that's not happening. The 1-2-1 one, one into the Force Balls, able to convert it, and gets caught by the check. 
immediately out of the corner again. This is going to be big damage. Forces the breakaway. The single snag allows for Noob Saibot to get so much damage. Like you'll see right here. Drops the 113, however. But it just allows him to cash out for so much for so little resources. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the Coliseum, all right? We have this awesome top eight going for you. We have two more matches in the top eight. One more match to finish out in the semifinals. And then we already have Xander waiting for the winner of that match in the finals, ready to go on week three. Right now, we've got Joystick versus Bandinos fighting it out, seeing who gets to go against Xander, who's been playing that insane Scorpion. He's been playing Misery Blade and been absolutely cooking with it. We can see he got through Hella Larry, or he got through the coldest, and then he got through Turkey Sucks, who is a Coliseum champion, not somebody who's easy to get through. And uh, so he's just waiting for the other side to make their way through. We're gonna see Joystick versus Bandinos. It's gonna be a close match, Joystick. We know.